I'm not gonna do much talking. By the way, if the audio sounds super crispy, it's because we finally listened to you guys and we got ourselves a brand new mic. So right now we've been working on trying to focus on the, the, the settings. We've been messing with the new camera. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we're not gonna be doing too much talking. We are currently right here in the city of Paris, California. And uh, we're just filling up our tanks with E85. This is the toy that we're gonna be taking. It was last minute change of plans. We we're supposed to take my gray GMC, um, pulling either my Turbo Blue SS clone or my gray step side. But last minute, both of them did not get tuned in time. I know freaking shops lagging, man, and freaking tuners lagging. Um, I really wanted to do some this mother out there with the boys from On the Gas, Freddy, because they are gonna be at the show. También con el compa Static Dad, pero la verdad no se va a poder. This truck is not ready to burn out. It has no mods whatsoever, so it doesn't even have power. They can quema quema, but it doesn't have power. There's literally no point in me taking it. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I just want you guys to know I wanted to start off the vlog here in Paris, California, because slowly we're gonna be making our way to West Texas and Odessa, Texas, you know? So enough talking, right now we just filled up. Uh, we should make a pit stop and we should run out of gas around Phoenix, Arizona. And I think that's where we'll pick up the camera, unless something interesting happens to us, because you guys already know, bad luck, likes to follow us, but hey, not today. Satanás. la gente de mi pinche cuerpo, besito lindos, llévanos con bien. Chulo, you ready? Yeah, ready. Oh, baby. So from here, mi compa el chulo es el que se va a llevar la camioneta. I'm gonna be passenger, but like I said, guys, I'm trying to help El Compa Chulo get better at driving, so I'm gonna be guiding him on the way there, right, Compa Chulo? So show him what you made me buy you. A coquita. Una coquita, you monster. I know, guys, you guys are probably like, Chulo, te va a pegar diabetes, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay awake. At least five hours. At least five hours, that's so. All right, so like I said, man, let's go. Wish us luck, aquí está la mamalona. We are not gonna be washing it because um, on the way there, we're going to be getting a lot of bugs. As you guys can see, it probably already has a whole bunch. Let me focus this new camera because, sheesh, this camera is amazing. Y también, está chimuela la pinche troca, eh? Pero pues no pasa nada. You know, the point is that we're, we're going out there. Vámonos. Porque aquí, ¿qué? Asustan. Chau. Okay, mi raza. So, we are making our first uh, pit stop. And it is in Arizona, but it's not in Phoenix like we thought it was. Um, it just started to rain, look. I think you guys are the bad luck. It literally just started to rain. Um, yeah, we were doing so good. The only reason why we stopped is one, I'm starting to get a little bit sleepy. I know it's two, I know two is two, cause I won't look at him for a while and he'll just be like this. <laughs> and I'll look at him and he'll be like, I keep these up, fucking liar. But yeah, the main reason why we pulled over is because um, we ran out of gas. We still have the gallons, and that's what we're gonna throw in the truck instead of uh, instead of putting regular gas. And then we only have like 30, 35, 40 minutes forward, and we're gonna hit Phoenix. So there's the 85 sessions over there, so we're gonna waste this gas. And then once we go to Phoenix, we'll uh, fill back up with gas. And then we'll decide if we're gonna stay or keep going as of now. Let's go pump some gas. Yeah, five. Even ten do you think? Five I believe. Five? So I don't know with five gallons we should make it to Phoenix. I'm hoping because that's how I'm gonna put. Hopefully we don't have to stop again in the front because we feel like getting that means that it's almost done, and let's get back on the road. Hey Raza, so we just pulled up to get 85 on the street, and man, this is so weird, but here in Arizona, shit's weird. So, 85 is exactly not even a single penny less than 91, look at this. 87 is even cheaper, a whole dollar cheaper. 87 is a whole dollar cheaper for me to pump, but stupid man so I guess this is cheap in Cali that really makes no sense but okay we still need it Vinimos bien hasta ahorita no sé si pueden ver aquí tenemos una llantera porque no se nos tomó una llanta lo bueno pero si le falta aire y no le puedo echar aire te lo voy a explicar por qué pero ya aquí venimos en Tucson Tucson Arizona o sea casi casi venimos saliendo no se le puede echar aire, ¿verdad? No, hoy no. Se ve como que... Como que se lo venía comiendo algo, ¿no? Sí, ¿No será la breca? Acá tiene... No, 
no, no, no está bien. Voy atrás, pero sí como que venía. Sí, pegándole con algo, no está bien. You see, and these reverse steelies, since they're flipped inside out, they don't have the valve stem like a normal wheel would in the front. You see, there's no valve stem. These valve stems are in the back. Uh, let me see if I can find the other one. I can't really find the other one, but it's somewhere over here. So whenever I put air on these things, it's a mission because I have to go under and it's super low and put air from the back. Unlike these front rims, so the valve stems are easy to get to right here. Yeah, but I think my brake or something was eating up that valve stem because as you guys could see, um, I tried putting air in it at the gas station and I couldn't because it was eating up. But it's okay, we came here to a tire shop in Tucson, Tucson, Arizona. Like I said, we're pretty much almost out of this state. We should be uh, headed to New, Mo New Mexico. We should be headed to New Mexico very, very soon. And also, tell them how we took a small little uh, descanso at a gas station, right? Yeah, we took a little descanso, three hours. We overslept low key. We should have been on the road by like two, by, uh, like two hours ago, but we yeah, couldn't sleep. To be honest, um, to be honest, we couldn't really hold it. We were really, no, we really were. sleepy. And uh, so we pulled up at a gas station to get gas. And we slept for like two hours. Yeah, 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 we slept for like two so we are running late right now. Well, not really late because the show's still tomorrow, Saturday. But well, we um, want to set up by tonight. But I'd rather be there late than ever, you know, because it is, that's very dangerous. So our as of right now, let's get, yeah, our safety for just get this straight so we'll be back on the road. So it's about 3 p.m. We literally lost one hour um, from Cali. It's still two over there and it's three here. We finally hit. We finally got to Welcome to New Mexico, the land of enchantment. And uh, so far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. So almost. Uh, right, Chulo? We're good? Yeah, we're good. Uh, we're good. We haven't really ate, but uh, we're almost to uh, El Paso or Las Cruces. Yeah, East that water burger. We're here. So, what it's kind a of must, huh? Yeah, it's always a must. So, we're saving it. We want to fucking. Lo que le queremos agarrar con ganas. Agarrar esa pinche water burger con ganas. So, we're just holding in the, the no eating. So, I think it's about like an hour and a half, two hours. So, Stop making this uh, video longer than it should. But like, this is pretty cool. Like New Mexico, and then like over there. Hey, yeah, that's Arizona. But we're not going that way. We're going the opposite way. Before we go, you guys know we gotta put a decal on there. I wish my truck wasn't so low. I was gonna be smart. Put my truck here, stand on it. And go the truck is too low and this pavement is not bad. Yeah, I can reach too low. <laughs> oh, it was close. Woo! Hell yeah. There you go. Jerry Tweak. Como dice quién? Scarface. Andan bravo los perros, Diego. They're gonna ask us for our accent. Hi. Well, do you have a citizen, sir? Yes. Do you have a citizen, sir? Yeah. Thank you. What did they ask you? Are you a US citizen like two times? What did he say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Aquí venimos llegando a Las Cruces, Nuevo México. Ya mero mero salemos de Nuevo México también. A mi compa Chulo es el que se aventó la, la manejada, ¿verdad viejo? Simón, y faltan otras 5 horas más. ¿Cómo? 5 horas más faltan porque. ¿A, po ¿A poco aguantas otras 5 horas? A huevo, no me deja como porque si no me pongo como mi compa Lalo, Grouchy. Grouchy. Okay. Yep, so we're about to leave. Uh, Ay, wey. We're gonna get some water burger. We're gonna get off and the one coming up to the right. So we're gonna get some water burger here in the city of uh, Las Cruces. The water burger we always go to, no? And then after that, we're gonna continue with the drive and we should be at El Paso in no time. 
Mira nomás, mi raza, el circo. I wonder why they look like that. Let's go, Bachulo. A comer, our first meal of the day, and it is already four. You can see four fifty-four. It's about five. Look at that beautiful single cab right there. But it's a long bed. Where do you want to park? On that side, no? On the toquera, yo. Alia verga, mi raza. Slow, go slow. Dejé mi compachuelo que manejara. Y lo paró la policía. Slow down. Por pendejo, no por otra cosa, mijo. Let's go, let's go. Tú, tú, tú no tengas miedo, viejo. You're, you're, you're being obvious, you know? Turn off the blinker. Yes, sir, Texas High Patrol. The reason we stopped today, left lane not passing. And on the side of I-20, you're not allowed to drive in the left lane unless you're passing other vehicles. You're driving the left lane doing like 68, 70 miles per hour. There's traffic behind you that has to go go by, all right? I need to see your drive license and uh, insurance on you. Um, you don't have a driver's license. You have an ID? Oh, your yeah. password? And we don't even have the. Uh, can I. Does a picture work? For the insurance? Uh, yeah, just as long as it's for this vehicle. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is the registration. Let me, let me go ahead and get a. A lo verga, mi raza, aquí todavía los tienen detenidos. The cop said I think that he's gonna get a warning because he has to have a license. Chulo told him that he's in the process, but. But it's all good. He said that everything's good, which it should be. I mean, I do have some tickets that I owe, but I don't think that should be a problem. Um, but he said that, yeah, right now uh, he's just gonna check us. We can switch seats and then we can take off. Pero... No, no, no. Ahorita ya no ya lo voy a explicar por qué lo pararon. Tuvo, cul tuvo culpa el compa chulo, la verdad. All right, guys. So we didn't really get a chance to explain what happened, and we didn't have a outro for this video. So real quick, we're gonna explain. So como les dije en el video, si le dieron un ticket a mi compa chulo, do you wanna explain what it's for? Explain huh? it. So he got a ticket for uh, for not having a driver's license, obviously, and they just gave him a warning for the driving and left lane when not passing. So basically the cops said that Trudeau was going a little bit too slow on the left lane when he should have been going fast. And the reason is, and yeah, yeah, he was going really, really fast, but then out of nowhere he saw the cop. And then he's like, yo, Jerry, I think that's a cop. And I was don't worry, like, just, just pass him. And he's like, no, 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 like, I think it's better if I, if I stay behind him. I was like, no, Trudeau, just go, just pass him. It's cool, you know? And then and then Trudeau, like, he wasn't listening to me. And I kept telling him, Trudeau, just keep going, just keep going, it's okay. And he's like, totally, like, shut off. Trudeau went, like, on limp mode, he ignored me. And, and Chulo just freaking went from like, I want to say from like 90, he went all the way down to like 55, 60. And it was just so obvious because Chulo was going fast and the cop was like this, we were next to each other and Chulo just hits the brake and we just stayed like that. And we were just like there for like a mile or two and the cop already knew. It was pretty funny too because the cop didn't even get behind Chulo because Chulo was going so slow that the cop couldn't get behind him. So the cop literally turned the lights on in front of Chulo. We didn't even know if he was stopping Chulo or not and then from there Chulo passed him. And the cop completely stopped and then he went behind us and we pulled over and the cop told him that he was driving too slow. And I got a little bit upset with him, um, not because he got pulled over because it's normal, but because he didn't listen to me. I kept telling him, Chulo, just keep going, keep going. But I think when he saw him, he just got nervous and he froze and he totally ignored me. And then that's what happened. But there is more to the story. Um, unfortunately, this time we didn't get a video, but we did on the way back home. We did get pulled over once again. But the reason why is because Chulo was actually driving again. I and mean, for some reason, every time I would give him the wheel, less, yeah, less than 30 minutes, and boom, they would pull him over. So then after, I was like, you know what, Chulo, no more wheel for you, because we're still in New Mexico. Uh, yeah. Or that was down in Texas. Uh, New Mexico, we're in New Mexico. We're in New Mexico. And then from there, like, this was the second time we already gone to the show, coming back. And then from there, um, the reason is because Chulo saw the, saw the checkpoint stand. He told me, yo, Jerry, um, I was sleeping, because I was tired. He, uh, he's like, wake up, wake up, let's do sheets. Because I don't have a license, doing nothing for my license. So we pulled over, I want to say within like in two miles, maybe a mile from the checkpoint stand. But it turns out that there's a state trooper right behind us, right when we pulled over and the cop pulls over. And then from there he asks us like, why we pulled over and then we just tell him like, because I had just woke up, I was like all confused. And then we had nothing to say. 
And then, like I said, it sucks that we didn't record, but it was just, um, that one was like super, super out of nowhere. We didn't even know it was a car behind us. I thought it was just a regular, like, SUV. But I guess just bad timing, you know? So I guess right when we pulled over to the side, the car pulled over with us. And then, but he, he pulled, he didn't really pull us over. He did it at the same time. Cause when he, when he got off, he's like, yo, like, uh, do you guys need help? Um, what happened to the truck? And then we were just kind of confused. Like we thought he was, we pulled us over. So we were like, we didn't know what to say. And then we were like, uh, I didn't want to tell him, you know, we're pulling over because he doesn't have a license, which we messed up because they didn't even ask him for a license after. But we just told him, oh, no, like, what did we say? We didn't even know. I don't even know what I said. Uh, he asked me if, if we were good. Like he, and I t he kept looking at me. He, and oh, I yeah. Asked. So basically, he, he kept asking him, are you good? And then Chulo was just, you guys know Chulo? And he was just like, yeah, 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 we're uh, good, we're good. And he just did it so suspicious. And then he looked at me, are you good? And I didn't have my hat on and I'm still bald. So then he was looking at my tats. So I felt like I looked like a malandrin, you know? But then I guess he kept repeating Chulo, like, why did you pull over then? And Chulo was just like, um, like, I don't know. And he was just, the point is that Chulo was being suspicious once again. And the cop kept asking him, are you sure you're good? He's like, yeah. And he was about to let us go. But then from there, he's like, can I get your driver's license? And then Chulo's like, I don't have one. And boom, okay, get out of the car. They took Chulo to the, to the back of the police car. And then it was just me right there. I'm like, fuck, you know, they're gonna fucking take Chulo. What am I gonna do in the middle of nowhere? And then from there, um, I guess they just had Chulo for a good, like, 15, 20 minutes. And I guess they were just asking him questions. And point is, since we were right there and we did that, we looked suspicious when they thought that we were um, human trafficking. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one the Poyeros. They checked the whole truck. They got me down. They checked the whole truck. But they asked me. But since I know we weren't hiding anything, I was getting what? It's cool. So um, they checked us. They, they were looking for drugs, weapons, or people, you know. And the thing is, I have my, my what is it, my tunnel covers and yeah, everything? Yeah, cover. My cover in the back. Yeah, cover. So then from there, he made me open it, and I had my gas tank, and he asked me, what do I have in there? I said, E85, because my truck is running on E85. And uh, they checked it, and we were good. They checked Chulo, and he was good. They checked me. And what were they asking you? They kept asking me, uh, who is that? Uh, how, asking, long you, how long have you been working with him for? They were asking him that, who was I? And, and then they would come to me and, and tell me that, who, who was he? And they were just trying to hear an accent. They kept asking you like five times. You know, yeah, like, it's a back and forth thing. So there. also, llegaron, um, one was a straight trooper. You got on two or three... Um, Three actual, or four. actual border patrol. Yeah. So we had like a whole bunch of cop cars right there, and then like the border patrols, they want to like find something because they kept telling yeah. them, "Are you sure you have papers? Are you sure you got papers? Are you sure you got papers?" And he kept saying, "Yeah, yeah." And it sucks that I couldn't be there to back them up, you know. But yeah, um, both. Uh, I mean, we weren't hiding anything, but the stories matched up. Um, we told him that we were coming from a truck show, and then he was asking me like, "Why would he go um, that far in less than 24 hours for a truck show and just come back right away?" So it was really suspicious. And I hate to use this, but I had to tell him, you know what, bro, like, I get paid, I'm a YouTuber, so. And then from there, he was just like, oh, okay, makes sense, you good. He had us go on a ticket, but she was gonna get a ticket the first time. With that being said, uh, this road trip was super, super successful. We're already back home, but the next vlog you guys will see in the next couple of days is a truck one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And next one, don't forget to smash that like button. If you need to the channel, become a jerk, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.